himself and he's like um, really, really, he's such a gentleman. Like we met on Match.com mm -hmm. um, and he picked me up because uh, we were going to see the Randy Rogers band. So we had dinner before, it was delicious. Um, and he paid for dinner and he, would, he opened all the doors for me, car doors, you know, restaurant door, everything. Yeah. And um, he even like led me through the crowd by my hand oh. when we got to the concert, you know. I know. Cute. It was really sweet. And, um, yeah, it was just like the perfect night. It was the perfect day, the perfect night. He was a gentleman. Um, and he totally, like physically, he's totally my type. He laughed a lot. Like, I just, I don't know. I, I'm just really confused. That's why I didn't hear back. So, I mean, this, he's like, in my opinion, he's like my guy. Oh, you know, he's yeah. like perfect for me. So, well, I don't know. I don't no, no pressure on us or anything. <laughs> Jeez. It's like hot in here now. We gotta like make sure we get him back for you. Crunch time. I'm watching know, second date update. Like, I love this in the morning. Because this one's like, I don't wanna let this one go, you know? Yeah. But I haven't heard back from him at all. So Well, that's why we're here. <laughs> we're we're gonna get him on the phone. Hopefully he'll pick up and then we can go through all the interrogating and try to figure out why he has to call you back. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> we will get Andrew on the phone coming up and Good morning, people. So you're probably trying to figure out what the heck. Okay, in case you've not ever heard me mention, I watch the second, or listen to the second date update literally every morning unless I get in my car too late or unless they, you know, for whatever reason, they're doing a repeat one and it's one I've already heard. <coughs> so I can't let nothing interfere with that. It, like, gets my day going. Okay, so... I am going to, man, I'm like, I have a lot of stuff that I want to share. Okay, so like since Monday, I have, I have been like, I started a video on Monday that I'm going to finish. So it's going to be like a, it's going to be one video probably, but it's going to be like a couple of days out. So, uh, meaning that like, you're going to see me like in different clothes. Cause I started it on Monday and then it wasn't, I got kind of like hectic throughout the day and like the moments that I had to record in my car I just didn't feel like I was like I don't know it felt felt a little rushed like I kind of got off key so um my baby like barely can walk and she did the walking down the sidewalk um but yeah so I that's a video that I'm gonna do I'm gonna finish sometime or another this week maybe like tomorrow or I don't know I hope so because yeah I won't be at the office on Friday but anyway, so this week I've been really trying to, um, I want to say get some footage in, but I haven't really been successful. And boy, lots of activity going on around me, like kitties climbing up trees. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love mornings like this. It like really makes you like, it gets your day going. So anyway, so, but I think what I'm going to do is today I'm just going to kind of share everything and put it all in one video if I can get this to work out. It just seems like when like the sun comes in different angles when I'm driving at lunchtime, just all kinds of craziness. So I just can't seem to get everything done the way I want to get it done. But, um, and like right now I'm on the access road with my light on in my car. So I don't know how far I'm going to get with this, but yeah, so, um, and this is like open, but it's not like it's the pencil is like somewhere in my bag. Okay, so on one day this week, I want to say like Tuesday, because today is Wednesday. No, it was Monday. I ended up going to Sephora. I um, I had a mascara that went wrong. And um, okay, no, wrong day. This is Laura Mercier. Okay, Monday is when I went to Dillard's. So I am trying to get my hands on Back in Vogue and um that liquid lipstick from mac no success yet i could order it i know but long story but anyway so i walk into my dealers and lo and behold they have a laura mercier counter now in the north star dealers oh my goodness y'all okay so i really love more laura mercier's products and i've been getting into more of her products like i loved her foundation i the first thing i ever tried was her tinted moisturizer like I don't know about three or four years ago and I really liked it but it it is a little bit dark on my skin um, and at that time I don't know maybe I just didn't know enough about her brand but I the things that I looked at didn't seem to have like my color 
okay, we're going to probably have to turn this thing off. Um, and, um, and I think that was, I really didn't do a lot of looking online either because I was kind of like, you know, I don't want to be ordering colors and they don't match and all this kind of stuff. But then I guess like, I don't know, a year later, more watching of YouTube, I realized that hey, she's got some pretty cool stuff out there. So that's when I got the smooth finish foundation and I freaking love that foundation. But that's how I kind of got into Laura Mercier, and um, it's no secret that I really enjoy watching Lisa Lisa Day One, and she spoke of a lot of Laura Mercier products, and so when she would speak of things, I would kind of go in the store and kind of check them out. Now, I don't have a lot, I'll be perfectly honest with you, but I have a lot on my wish list because I try to do everything within a budget. I try to get things like when there's coupon sales and stuff like that, like so I, you know, I, I don't have a lot of Laura Mercier, yet at the same time, I really like the products. I know that sounds kind of weird, but anyway, that's, I mean, that's just the gist of it. So anyhow, when I saw that Laura Mercier was in the Dillard store, I was like, oh my God, like I, and you know, because, okay, let me explain. Um, okay, what's going on? I sometimes, okay, I go into Dillard store a lot to get my Mac cosmetic things, and I don't really wear a lot of Mac anymore. Um, I used to, and um, I'm trying to think, like, I don't know, MAC Match Master is the last foundation, or the only foundation that I have from MAC. I don't particularly like MAC's eyeshadows, but um, the Gaga, G Giga, 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 that was like, what is it called? The Giga Lash, and I don't know where it's at, it's down in this bag somewhere, I think, or did I leave it at home? I may have left it home. Okay, no, there it is. I bought this like several months ago, well probably like maybe even close to a year ago, and um, I freaking loved it. I've tried several of their mascaras and I don't like most of them. Um, there is a couple that I would tolerate. There was one that was designed off of um, prescriptives I think or something, and I do like that one, but there's so many other ones that I like better, so anyway. But I do, I freaking love this one. This is the little one that's got, it's in the blue tube and it's like amazing for the bottom lashes. And I don't remember what YouTuber I first heard it from this. I think it was Lisa Lisa D1 probably because like I said, I, I'm an advocate follow of her. I don't know, I just respect her, her opinion on certain cosmetics. Um, I'm a little bit concerned now because I feel like she's getting a little bit more commercialized. Okay, so sorry about that, but I was needing to listen to the second half of my second date update. So getting back to this little mascara baby, which, um, where is she? Okay, so um, I don't even remember where I was now because I like totally lost track of everything when I was listening to the second date update. But basically, um, I had gone into Dillard's and um, I actually had a store credit. And so um, it was something that I had gotten and I returned back over the Christmas holiday and I just hadn't been in there because I was actually going to use my store credit for that um, Back in Vogue uh, liquid lipstick and um, because they don't ever seem to have it in, uh, I was like, well, you know, I got in there, they didn't have it, okay, so once I saw the Laura Mercier counter and that's why I ended up with, and I know this is kind of all over the place, but it is what it is, people hang in there with me, I'm good, I promise, but um, the actual liner is like somewhere down in my bag I think or I may have left it nope it is here um, it is baby lips and I freaking love this color I had tested it on my hand um, in Sephora like probably I don't know three or so weeks ago and um, it was on my wish list but of course like I said I am doing things on a budget so I was like okay right now it's not gonna happen but when I saw it in there and I had the store credit and back and both for whatever reason will not be in the store like it's just not happening so I was like I'm gonna go ahead and spend my store credit so I got this which was like I want to say $23 or I'm not for sure but um, I was really happy and so then I had like 20 I think I have like no I think I had like 30 some dollars left on the store credit so um, that was that's why I got so happy with you know seeing the Laura Mercier counter in Dillard's and um, and then when I got over to the counter and of course they didn't have that I had been using the wand of the um, Giga Lash to just use it in other mascaras because I just love the size of the wand 
and I thought, well, you know what? I don't even remember how, how the actual mascara was. Like, I really should give it a try again. So I did go ahead and buy this, and oh my goodness, it's just, I mean, like, seriously, y'all, like, it's funny to me how, like, you can forget how good a product is without actually, when, like, when you don't use it all the time. Like, I love the wand, don't get me wrong, and it still does awesome inside of other mascaras, like, or if I just use it to, like, straighten out my lashes, because I do like my lashes somewhat clumpy, and, um, in doing that, sometimes they get a little too clumpy. So, the wand itself, like, I'm not going to throw away that particular, um, mascara container because I love the wand but having this one brand new and fresh like I remembered how much like it really defines my bottom lashes really well and I don't have to work hard at it whereas with the when I stick the wand into other mascaras I do have to be still very careful because of course you know it's like all kind of all over the um the wand just different things like it this just goes on smoother and works so much better so I am so glad that I ended up getting another one of these like it just totally made my day so I'm really happy about that um, and then okay so like okay my Sephora bag is somewhere I don't know where but anyhow oh here it is I don't know if I did I take everything out of the Sephora bag I don't know so then yesterday I had something to take back to Sephora um, I had bought a NARS mascara and I've had it for a while like I got it on the last coupon thing which I think was like sometime in November but I wasn't really using it very much and um, oh I had used it a lot the first week I got it like literally every day probably like the first week or so and then I would only use it sparingly because I was mixing the perversion mascara with the NARS uh, um, audacious uh, whoa people um, cars driving cray cray so um, and then all of a sudden one day I open it up and like the whole t stopper on the inside was just like totally kaput like it was gone I don't know where it was at like down inside I'm assuming so I had like nothing but gooks and gooks of mascara so I was like so disappointed excuse me because I paid a lot of money for that mascara and I didn't want that to be happening so yesterday I had the grand idea you know um, and I'm also I, you know I will say this I'm a little bit concerned about NARS products mainly because like uh before that i had bought the nars um creamy whatever concealer and love it love it love it love it have it on my eyes right now well the glass or the bottom part like totally cracked away from the top part like not where you unscrew it at like the glass just broke or plastic or whatever it's made out of and i was like seriously and it got like all over my makeup bag it was horrible but again, and I spoke about it on YouTube, I love Sephora's customer service because they freaking like just like didn't even hesitate. Like I, I told the girl, I said, well, it looks like there's no product in here. That's because it's all in my makeup bag. Like it was in my makeup bag. I had to throw it, I mean like just like throw some of the stuff away because it was just like hideous. Like I think I even threw the makeup bag away. But anyway, so they gave me a new replacement, which I'm so grateful for. But I'm wondering like what is going on with NARS? Like why are these things happening like it's a high-end product and for two things to happen back to back like I mean I don't know that's a little bit weird for me I don't know but anyway I still love the freaking uh, mascara and I love the freaking uh, concealer so yeah it, that's it is what it is but it does concern me so if NARS if you ever hear this video um, check yourself find out what's going on like y'all like cutting back in products is, I mean what is happening like the packaging like tell me about it so anyway um, so I went into Sephora yesterday with the intention to hopefully just exchange the mascara and get me another one because I absolutely, absolutely love the Audacious uh, Mascara. It was a little bit weird at first, but you know, it's like, oh, because it was just so pointy and so sticky and I was so worried that the wand was like really flimsy, but it doesn't really apply flimsy, like it doesn't handle flimsy when you're trying to apply it to your eyes. So I was okay with it, loved it. Um, but then I got to talking to the girl in the store and she was like, and I was telling her like, I really love Marc Jacobs. There was like one Audacious Mascara left and um so um i was like oh. and she was like you can even exchange it but why don't you um since you're like curious about the mark jacobs um what is this bad boy okay the mark jacobs i'm not gonna be able to read it because i'm freaking driving but like this one right here like so because i was so curious about this one and she says well you know that you like the audacious foundation i mean the audacious mascara why don't you go ahead and just exchange it out they're even like they're the same price and like give this one a try because you know you want to try it 
And I was like, oh my God, you know, that's such a great idea. And I was like, you know, I think I am going to do that. So that being said, in Sephora yesterday, I ended up with the mascara from Marc Jacobs, which is the Velvet Something Another. And like I said, I can't read it. But, and that is what I have on my eyes right now. Um, first impression of it, um, like with every mascara, I think, the only mascara I think I actually really really liked the first time was the perversion like the first application it just seemed to I don't know I liked it this one I, I won't say I didn't like it but I will say that um, did kind of get all over the place which is typically why my first reaction of mascaras aren't the greatest not so much of how they apply but because you know when you're talking about different uh, I can't talk different shape wands and you know like you and I have a lot of skin on my eyelids like my I like I have seriously hooded eyes so um, I have like the skin that like like this right here and so and my lashes aren't very long so initially when I first start to apply mascara because my lashes aren't very long it's like applying them like the mascara like right to my face or to my eyelids because it's like so close to each other and so nine times out of ten I'm gonna have mascara like on them I it's just not gonna pretty much happen because I've got to figure out the best way to hold the wand I've got to figure out how to apply it and then usually it's a little bit more liquidy the first day that you try it because I don't know I guess that's the way they seal them up so that they last you know somewhat of a long time so that being said my first impression is that um, after I applied the second coat I loved it um, first coat I was like oh my goodness of course I did have mascara all over the lid I did have to work to get that off but um, I knew that was gonna happen like like I said it's just it's a given um, the wand is actually very much shaped like the perversions wand but it's not as um, it's not as big as the perversions wand so um, I think I'm gonna enjoy using it I just like I said I just gotta get the hang of it and I think after about the third day this mascara is gonna be absolutely fantastic so so far I do love it um, of course I have to keep you guys and you know posted on how it wears throughout the day and things of that nature um, I do like that it did volumize my lashes. This is probably about three and a half coats or three, maybe four coats of mascara on my eyelids. Yeah, probably. Um, so yeah, quite a bit of coats on there, but that's typically what I do anyway because I do have very short lashes and I'm really not into falsies. So, um, and then I had another foundation that I needed to take back um, that um, I had... I, I don't even remember when I got it, but I needed to take it back. So I took it back and I had a store credit um, that I had not used because, you know, like when you go to like um, a JCPenney's and purchase something from Sephora and you, if you go to, Ult, I mean, not Ulta, hello, a free stand in Sephora, you can only get a store credit or exchange it. And at the time I was kind of like in a hurry and I never did, um, like I didn't have time to like really pick out anything. So I had had that for a while and I hadn't used it. Um, and so I, of course you all know, I have tested and sampled the Makeup Forever um, cover stick and I was impressed by it and I was kind of debating on getting that for my traveling this summer. And I am actually going out of town this weekend. So I love me some Marc Jacobs. That is my favorite foundation in the world. It is my holy grail, by the way. I, I've just come to that conclusion. Like every time I apply it, I love it. Like I said, I don't love that it smears very easily. Um, if I can figure out a way um, not to have it smear, I've, I mean, I've tried it with setting sprays. I still see smearing. Like, I don't know what the deal is. But other than that, it, the color match is perfect. And um, so that is my Holy Grail foundation. I, I just I had to come to that conclusion. Like, I wasn't, I just said, stop kidding yourself, girl, because this is it. This is the one that will be your staple piece. Kind of like how for the years and years, Ginger and Estee Lauder Double Matte Double Wear Foundation was like my favorite. Now it's something Ginger, but they changed their colors, and I never can remember the whole name of the new one. Well, it's not really new now; it's been a couple years, but or several years actually. But I mean, that one will always still hold a, a, a really strong place in my heart for me because that was like one of the first, or one yeah, the first high-end foundation that I ever wore. Actually, I used to wear Color Stay by Revlon drugstore version and um, then I moved into the Estee Lauder family and I wore Estee Lauder for years. Um, it was a perfect match. I didn't really want to even, I did was not even interested in looking at other foundations because I love that foundation. Um, so anyhow, um, but I like this baby. I like the stick. I, I've only had samples of it so I'm really curious to see how it's going to apply with 
um, you know, just like using the stick and putting it on. So I'm probably going to uh, more than likely wear this tomorrow for the first time. I'm thinking, I'm almost certain that that's what I'm gonna do is probably wear it tomorrow for the first time. I'm just, I'm thinking in my head right now because the Friends and Families does start tomorrow, which I'm like, I'm going to be out of town tomorrow evening and I really don't have a chance to go to the store. So I'm like, I'm like thinking in my head, like how am I going to make this work? I may have to do an order online tomorrow because there's a couple things that I want. But anyway, so I got this yesterday um, with my store credit and I am excited about trying it. I'm excited about having a product that I can, um, I just throw in my bag. Like I can literally like take this to work like it's gonna be that easy like I mean you know so I don't know I'm just really excited about it and I am the color number 173 by the way if you are interested um, yeah so that is it and um, so those are the four things that I've gotten in the last few days from being out and about shopping um, by the way today I actually have on my eyes or, I mean sorry my face my foundation today is a YSL E2 Chiclot um, I I don't I can't make any kind of call right now. I do feel like this color is a tad bit too dark for me. So I would love to have like a shade just a tad bit light. I had to kind of work with this to get it to not be as dark. Um so I don't know if I was successful in that. I'll be the judge of that a little bit later on when I can like see it out at work in some different lighting and all that good stuff. Um tell me what you think. Like um I've been wanting to try the East Tushi Clot. And I almost think I tried it once before, but I don't think they had this color in the store because for some reason I'm remembering a, like a totally different color. Or I don't know, maybe I'm totally wrong. Maybe I didn't try E2 Chiclot. Maybe I tried a different one of their foundations, um, which like I said, it was a long time ago, so I honestly don't remember. Um, I started applying it with the Beauty Blender, and well, I keep saying Beauty Blender, but hello, that's what it is. Oh my God, like seriously, girl. But anyway, so um, I didn't really like it with that at first. Like I was kind of feeling like it was taking away the product or something. So then I ended up finishing it up with my brush. Um, so I, I, I mean, I like the way it went on. I just, I'm not sure about the color. And of course, you know, the color kind of makes everything a little bit solemn when you can't when you know because you it's like really hard to totally judge because the color of a foundation really makes a difference so um yeah so i'm pretty excited about it like i i i want like you know there's like a few of those foundations out there that i just really want to get take part in and find out if i like them or not like the giorgio Armani, whatever foundation like there's one i don't know any of them really but um because i've never had any of their foundations and um, of course YSL because I've never had any of their foundations either. So those are two foundations that I am, you know, I just want to play with them and see if I'm ever going to like them or if they will ever, if they have color matches to my skin, which is the most important, you know, question. But yeah, so, so far so good. Tell me what you think. I think it's just a little bit, just a tad, tad bit dark, but um, I, I think I camouflaged it enough. I just don't know, like, I, I don't know that that would be one that I would pick out because I wouldn't want to have to work too hard every time I wear it. So, but I'm curious to see how the wearing power is going to be like throughout the day. Hopefully it's going to last and be good. I don't even really know what they they state about that. I have to look because I just saw it yesterday and just decided out of, you know, I'm just, I'm going to try it. Like, I don't know. didn't even give it any thought. Just thought I'm going to get it. So I got my little sample. But, um, yeah, so that is what's going on with me right now. Like, I seriously, like I said, I have had so much fun the last few days just playing with makeup, I, like, between Sephora and um, Dillard's. I'm so happy about the Lord Mercy um, counter. I think I still have, like, probably, like, I don't know, like, maybe $15 or so left on my store credit. So I think I might go back and get the Laura Mercier's, um, translucent powder I think I just want the travel size one initially at first to see how I'm gonna like it I've heard so many good things about that that powder and I have truly truly been wanting to try it so um, I think I may use the rest of my store credit I don't even know how much it is I want to say it's like probably like 15 bucks but and then of course you know pay the difference but um, yeah so I'm really really loving it on my lips today I have on a NARS lipstick with a Milani lip liner and know what colors they are because yeah no 
ours is an orangey color and I will t I will put the color below because of course I'm driving and I can't be trying to read y'all because I don't want to kill myself. Okay, I'm digging in my bag, y'all. Digging in my bag. Oh, nope. I'm getting everything but that. Where is it? I hope I have it with me. There it is. And this is a Milani pencil and I don't know what color this is either. Like, I can't tell because I'm driving. But it is kind of like a, it's almost like a, a reddish berry color and when you mix those this with the orange mas um, mascara hello I got mascara on the membrane uh, when you mix this with the orange from NARS like they look like heaven together which is what I have on my lips and um, this is a creamy foundation oh my gosh I'm still saying everything but the right thing this is a creamy lipstick um, so it's not really matte for some reason I was thinking this was a matte lipstick but after I put it on I was like this isn't matte but um yeah so I do still really really love it and that is coming off like a funky color orange in the and have seen it you find it in my phone but yeah so I do really really love it um I love the combination of it together and then on my eyes today I have just got a smorgasbord of uh, oranges like I have a cream color in my base corner and then I just like um, from my uh, what is it natural pretty lady natural lady pretty lady it cosmetics um, palette I have um, that orangey color that's in there and then in my cap on D I have that deep orange in the lady um, in bird palette like I just have like like shades of orange like I'm loving it um, my pants have like kind of a rust color in it not really orange but um, I just wanted to wear some orange colors today because I wanted something different and not the darkest colors in the sun under the sun so anyhow I am I'm really excited about getting this day over with because I'm about to start a three-day weekend I have to work tomorrow but tomorrow I'm gonna take my lunch at the end of the day and um, I'm gonna be in Houston for a couple of days so I'm excited I need to get out of San Antonio I need a break for really really bad um, catching you up on my son um, he and his wife will be moving into their house this weekend I will be back on Saturday um, so I told him I could help him on Saturday morning if they need any help but he's a young guy with lots of good friends that are young so they are going to be doing the lifting of the boxes and um, so you know I will probably just be GG with the baby so anyway um, with that baby Leo is like a grown man are you kidding me <laughs> But yeah, so anyway, that is what's happening with me. Like I said, I am almost at work right now. So I'm probably just going to end this vlog. I have been talking pretty much since I left my house. And it is time to get off this bad boy and get this day started. So I hope you guys like this video. I know um, it's probably going to be long, but most of my videos are. So, you know, if you don't like watching long videos, you probably just don't want to watch me because I'm long-winded. I love to share. I love just being myself. And I... Uh, it's five o'clock somewhere and it's here <laughs> okay so I am actually leaving work at like 503 like I really like started pulling out the parking lot at 501 like that's a record for me I think um, but yeah so um, I wanted to end this video or vlog by and no mind my lips because I'm probably missing some lipstick right about now but I was not gonna reapply because I was in route so <laughs> um, an update on this foundation I don't know how well you can see it we're probably about to hit a serious glare spot so I hope to get this get a good look now quickly people so but yeah so um it did okay today like I mean it is a little bit dark so if I could find this foundation maybe like in a lighter like like a tad bit like like I mean I'm talking a teeny tiny tiny bit lighter I mean this is okay but I think if it was just a little bit lighter it would complement my skin a lot more so um, I wouldn't have had to work as hard as I did this morning to get it to look this good because it was a tad bit dark but it is the B number 70 in the YSL and I am typically a 173 in Makeup Forever and MAC Match Master a number 7.0 so if anybody uses the YSL and they 
or any of those colors, share me what share with me the number that you use. Like maybe that one will work for me as well. So anyway, um, this is the only color that they had at the store at Sephora, uh, close to my skin tone, like like anywhere close to it. They have an amber that is as pale as a ghost. So I don't know how that became the color amber, but you know, <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't even want to go there. But yeah, so anyhow, I am headed home now. I just wanted to do that little bit of an update so that I could end this vlog and hopefully get it uploaded tonight. Like I've, I've got to redo my nails tonight. Um, I'm wearing, um, what is it? I want to say China Grow, but it's Homestead Grow, which is by Nails Inc. Um, I, you know, that's what I didn't share with you guys. Like, I bought like a lot of nail polishes for like two dollars and ninety nine cents from Sephora, like last week. And yeah, maybe I'll bring those with me in the morning and show those to you on the morning vlog. But this is from Nails Inc. and this is called Homestead Grow again. Like, it is so pretty. But because I'm going out of town this weekend, I have one little baby chip somewhere like right here. And um, I don't want it to be ugly for tomorrow night because I'm going to a show tomorrow night. So I am going to, um, I'm going to change my nail polish after church tonight. I won't have time to do it before church, but I will definitely do it when I get back from church. And so while that I'm in the process of doing all of that, I will be uploading and editing and all that good stuff so this video will definitely go up tonight no if ands or buts about it and I like I said I don't even know no that's not in this video but there is another video that will be uploaded shortly uh, within the next week um, that I'm working on but it's gonna be it's a one part video but it's gonna be done over a couple of days because I want to make sure I'm speaking clearly speaking good and have to be in the right frame of mind for that one so anyway um, yeah, so that's where we are right now, and I will be uploading again, like I said, tonight, and then hopefully I will be vlogging with y'all again tomorrow. Hopefully I'm getting myself back on track. I just had, like, a lot of stuff going on, but we're getting things down now. We're getting things down to a minimum. So I will check you later. Don't forget, comment, rate, and subscribe, my peeps.